Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province recently announced that it will transform a former industrial region in Gunpo City into an innovative R&D hub with comprehensive research, cultural, residential, and commercial facilities. This former industrial area of 182,000 square meters has been left unoccupied since resident factories vacated the area in 2006 for relocation to other regions. This announcement follows the selection of this project as an industrial region development promotion trial project by the central government. Titled Convergence and Complex R&D Innovation Hub, this project will be implemented jointly by Kyungi Province, Gunpo City and the Korea Land and Housing Corporation. On December 27th, the three authorities signed an agreement to cooperate in the realization of this project. According to this cooperation agreement, Kyungi Province will provide administrative support, Gunpo City will undertake the preparation of industrial area management plans and the processing of building permits, as well as the inducement of enterprises and academic and research institutes, while the Korea Land and Housing Corporation will act as project overseer. Groundbreaking for the Gunpo Convergence and Complex R&D Innovation Hub is slated for the end of 2022. On December 30th, a ceremony marking Kyungi Province Farmers' Day was held at the Kyungi Agricultural Research and Extension Services. During the ceremony, Kyungi Province Farmer and Fisherman Awards, the most prestigious awards in the agricultural and fishery fields of the province, were presented. Thirteen farmers and fishermen, who had exemplary performances and contributed to local society, received awards. In 2020, Kyungi Province will launch Traveling Labourer Support Policies, bolster its tax delinquency management teams, and expand operating room CCTV system installations to private medical institutes. GTV examined the details of the changes in Kyungi Province policies this year. This year, Kyungi Province will provide youths of 18 to 34 years of age who are experiencing significant difficulties in finding employment with job interview cost support of 35,000 Korean won, up to six times annually. 청년들한테는 작은 돈이지만 그게 얼마든지 다 엄청나게 큰 도움으로 다가오기 때문에 굉장히 좋은 제도가 될 거라고 생각합니다. The former Kyungi Province Working Youth Bank account will be renamed as the Kyungi Province Youth Laborer Bank account, and the number of recipients will be increased from 2,000 to 5,000. 구직과 취업으로 인해서 힘든 시기를 겪는 청년들이 많고 많이 있는데 저희들이 그 청년들에게 힘과 용기를 주기 위해서 청년 정책들을 확대해서 Kyungi Province will actively establish and operate resting facilities in strategic locations for traveling laborers such as delivery and driver service employees. The province will also increase the number of tax delinquency management team members by 500 this year to 1,700 so as to realize tax fairness while creating more jobs. This year, Kyungi Province will expand operating room CCTV installations to private medical institutes through the provision of installation cost support of 30 million Korean won for each institute that chooses to install the system. On December 26th, the heads of Kyungi Province, Pyeongtaek City, Paju City, and the Kyungi Urban Innovation Corporation signed a Kyungi-style regionally balanced industrial complex development agreement. Balanced development in this case refers to the use of development profits from one industrial complex for the development of industrial complexes in other regions. 
This agreement enables part of the profits from the new Pyeongtaek Industrial Complex to be invested in Babwan 1 Industrial Complex in Paju City. At the signing ceremony, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung expressed his hope that this case will become a model for balanced national development. The Gyeonggi Province New Year kickoff meeting was held at the province's Fire and Disaster Headquarters. During the meeting, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung emphasized the importance of firefighters in protecting lives and ensuring safety. During the meeting, Governor Lee and officials of the Fire and Disaster Headquarters played Yutnori, a traditional Korean board game using four sticks individually inscribed with the words fairness, welfare, peace, and safety. When Gyeonggi Province's fortune for 2020 was determined by a toss of the sticks to be evil turns into blessings, Governor Lee stated that, just as a crisis can be an opportunity, officials can make things better if they work hard. During the annual kickoff meeting, Governor Lee stated that protecting lives and ensuring safety is the most important mission of a government. Governor Lee also stated that the authority of a public official is only granted for a given time and that their office is mandated by the people. He added that the most important role of a public official is to maintain fairness and transparency, enabling the people of the nation to have foreseeable hope. 공정하게 통제하는 게 우리에게 주어진 책임인 겁니다. 여러분들에게. 여러분도 다 권한을 가지고 있단 말이에요. 그 권한을 공정하게 잘 행사하는 것. 그게 그냥 나의 책임을 다하는 것이기도 하지만 그게 결국은 국가의 운명을 좌우합니다. Governor Lee asked officials to be assured that the destiny of future generations and Korea depends on them. On January 2nd, the South Suwon Fire Office, covering the Gwansanggu and Paldaggu areas of Suwon City, opened with an official ceremony. Located on the first and second floors of the Gyeonggi Province Fire and Disaster Headquarters, this fire office is responsible for the safety of more than 580,000 residents in these areas. The opening ceremony was attended by Gyeonggi Province Vice Governor Kim hee Gyum, provincial and city legislators, and related personnel including volunteer firefighter association representatives. Established in 1996, the South Suwon Fire Office was merged with the Central Suwon Fire Office in 2009 and has been operating as part of the Suwon Fire Office. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.